Hey yogis, this is a yoga flow to make you happy. We are going to be doing a mostly standing flow flowing all around the mat. Um, it's all levels, but make sure to listen to your body. Anything that causes pain, please don't do it. Please modify to suit what you need today. And we're gonna come straight into it. So you're gonna come and sit down on your mat. Maybe you grab some blocks or some cushions if that feels better. Bring your hands onto your knees and start to connect to the breath. So breathing in through the nose, and let's take a big sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Breathe it in, lift the shoulders. And exhale, sigh it out, let it go. <sighs> One more time, just like that. Breathe in, lift the shoulders. And exhale, sigh it out and drop the shoulders down. <sighs> and then start to circle your body. Inhale, breathing the chest forward. Exhale, rounding through the back, hug the belly in. You can do small movements, you can do big movements. Start to bring the breath in and out through the nose if that feels good for you as you start to circle the body. Taking three circles in one way and then you're gonna switch directions and take three circles the other way. Notice the different sensations as you circle your body around. As you move to the right, feel the left side body. As you move forward, feel the opening through the chest, any niggles in the back so on and so forth as you continue to circle. And then bring yourself back to center and you're gonna to start to just do some intuitive movements. So what do you need? Maybe it's just a side to side wiggle, maybe you need some side stretches, but just check in this morning. How's your body feeling? Or maybe it's not morning for you, maybe it's afternoon, who knows? But how's your body feeling and what does it need? This whole idea of self study. And this flow today is to celebrate the fact that this week I announced that my new book, Yoga Happy, is being launched in January. So that's why we're doing a happiness flow. So whatever you're doing, maybe you're doing some figures of eight, maybe you're just sitting still because that's what you need. We're gonna take another few moments, stay connected to the breath for three, for two, and one, inhale, reach the arms all the way up, bring your gaze towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Palms come together, exhale. Bring your hands down to heart center, push your thumbs in towards your heart space. Set an intention for your practice today, or maybe just find a moment of gratitude. What are you grateful for right here, right now? Think the eyes open, take a soft smile, and then you're gonna roll over your knees, coming straight to downward facing dog. So if you feel like your body needs more of a warm up, then just hit pause and do whatever you need to do. But if you're ready, you're gonna to start to pedal out your feet. Maybe you give the hips a little bit of a sway. Maybe you give the head a little nod yes, a little shake no. Again, asking yourself, what do I need? And then when you're ready, you're gonna find stillness. You're gonna put a big bend in the knees, draw your ribs back towards your thighs, spread your fingers, push through your hands, pulling your shoulders up towards your ears, dial the hands out like you're screwing jam jar libs in opposite directions and draw, draw your ribs in. Now pike your sit bones up towards the sky. But if your knees are still bent, that's absolutely okay. If your heels aren't flat, again, that's okay. Breathe into this pose, your downward facing dog, and feel strong. Hold three, two, and one. You are going to tiptoe your feet to the front of your mat. Feel each step, feel each sensation. Bring in those feet hip distance apart, lovely bend in the knees. Make a fist with your hand, bring that fist onto your third eye. Let your head go into your hands as you take a little sway from side to side. Again, come back to that intention or come back to that moment of gratitude. And then stop this way, bring the hands down. As you inhale, you are gonna roll up piece by piece, stacking those vertebrae one by one until finally you come all the way up to stand. Inhale, reach the arms high. If your feet aren't hip distance, wiggle them hip distance now. Take hold of your right wrist. Inhale, lift you up, pull up. Exhale, take a little side bend over to the left hand side. Work with the breath. Inhale, brings you up. Switch the grip on the wrist, pull up on that left wrist. And exhale, take a little side bend over to the right. One more time. Inhale, lift you up, switch the grip. Exhale, a little bit of side flexion. 
and inhale, lift you up, exhale, take it to the other side. Maybe notice is one side a little bit freer than the other one or do they feel exactly the same? Come back through center and as you exhale, you're gonna fold forward, soften the knees and come down as strong as you can. Feel your glutes, feel your legs strong as finally your hands meet the net or maybe they come to your thighs or blocks, wherever you want them to be. And as you inhale, find length through the spine, bring the hands onto the shins or come onto fingertips. And as you exhale, fold, plant those hands, step back into a plank pose. Drop the knees, chest and chin, keeping the shoulder tips lifted, come all the way down onto your belly. Inhale, feeling of pulling back with the hands rather than pushing up, lifts you up, cobra. Exhale, back to the belly, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg lifts high to the sky. Bend the knee and open that hip, lifting the knee towards the ceiling. Notice your right shoulder wants to open. Can you square it down and lift that knee even more towards the sky? Notice your breath. Can you soften it? Can you lengthen it? And then as you exhale, we're going to do a really slow count of three. Step the foot to the front of the mat. So stepping it forward for three, two, and one. Foot meet, back knee comes down, lift up low lunge. Reach the fingers up as you squeeze that left glute, reaching through your side waist. So you're not dumping down, you're lifting out of the pelvis. Reach the fingers even further up. And then bring your hand to your heart. Either smile or find another moment of gratitude. And as you exhale, you're gonna take a little side bend over towards the right. As you do, give that left glute a great big squeeze and hold here, staying with your breath for three, for two, and one. Inhale brings you up through center. Your left hand is gonna come down. You're gonna reach your right arm back in space. Maybe you wanna wiggle your right foot forward, that's okay. Can you bend that left knee in and take hold of the foot? Roll the shoulder open, lift the heart. If you want a little bit more, you can always come down onto your forearm. And if you need something for that back knee, go and grab a blanket or a cushion, that's completely okay. Hold in stillness and again, try and find some softness with your breath. And then slowly come back through center. Tuck the back toes, bring your left hand down by your right foot, lift the back knee. Inhale, peel the right arm open as you hug the inner thighs in towards each other, coming into a twist. Now you can stay here or option for some sneaky strength. You're going to come onto the outside of your left foot and step your right foot on top of your left, coming into side plank. Keep the hips lifted, keep the inner thighs hugging in. Your gaze can be up or down or forward, whatever feels best for your neck. And everyone who's here is gonna step back into that twist in a count of three, two, and one. Right foot lands, right hand comes down by right foot, and we're gonna do an awkward twist. So reach your left fingers up towards the sky and notice how your core automatically says, hello, okay, I'm supporting you. And if this is too much, you can always drop that back knee. Now from here, we're going to warrior two. So think about this transition. Bring the back foot down so the sole of your foot is on the mat. You can use your hands on your legs if you need to, or you're gonna come all the way up. Wiggle the feet as much as you need. As you find your Viradrasana, warrior two. Now notice, is this front knee collapsing in? Do you need to give your glutes a little bit of a poke and get them to work? Lift through the side waist. And then again, hand to heart, left hand this time. Inhale, reach the right arm over, reverse warrior variation, and then bring your right hand to your heart. Bring your left hand over in a kind of side angle. And if you want more support, this elbow can come to the thigh. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, lift you up. Left hand to heart, right arm over. And exhale, right hand to heart left arm over, roll this right hip open, roll the right shoulder open, feel the four corners of your feet ground into the earth and lift through the arches. Now you've got one more breath here and we're gonna take this 
into half moon. So bring the gaze down if it's not already. Your right hand can come onto a block or onto the floor as you lift that back leg up towards the sky. If you're struggling for balance, you can grab hold of the hip or you can reach the fingers up. If you want to challenge your balance, you're gonna gaze up towards that top hand. <laughs> she says, falling over. Always the way. So feel really sturdy on this bottom leg. If this is wobbling around, then that's gonna make it harder for you. Ground through the big toe mound and find length through your side waist. So this isn't a standing split, this is an open posture. Now we're coming to Skandasana side squat. So going back through warrior two, how softly can you come down? Bend into the left knee, turn the toes out, straighten this right leg. Now use your hands as much as you need to, or if you don't, can you come all the way down to sit on your mat? I had a slight panic there that I was near the stairs and I was gonna fall down, but I'm okay. So your right leg is straight. You're gonna bring your left foot into your right thigh and we're gonna flow. So you're gonna bring your right arm down, inhale your left arm over. Next, inhale brings you all the way up. Come onto your shin, sweep the arm over, kneeling wild thing. And again, exhale, brings you down, side stretch. Inhale, brings you back up. One more time, we're gonna hold it down the bottom now. So your right arm can be by your leg or you can bring your hand to your knee. And if you don't usually do it this way, then maybe switch it up and try and see how that feels. Reach your fingers even further across. The point is not just to grab that foot. The point is to find that lovely opening through the side body. Take a few more breaths here. And then as you inhale, you're gonna come all the way up, bring the arm down, sweep the arm over. Now, if this doesn't work, this is okay. Do not worry, but little challenge of strength again. Bring the sole of your foot of the right foot onto the floor. Can you lift the left knee, straighten the leg, and come to sit down on your mat in a straddle? If that didn't work, doesn't matter. Come down onto your mat and sit in a straddle. Okay, flex your feet, bring your hands in front of you, grab onto a imaginary great big spoon, and imagine there's a huge cauldron that in between your legs, and you're gonna take a great big stir of this cauldron, it's the biggest cauldron ever, and as you do, again, you're bringing your awareness to all the sensations within the body. One more stir this way, and we're gonna take it the other way. Inhaling forward, bringing it all the way around, and one more time. Beautiful. Now, from here, inhale, pull back with the fingers, lift the heart, and then exhale, creep forward, keep the feet flexed. Don't worry about how far you can go. If you are here, but you're feeling the stretch, then amazing. Those people that can get their bellies properly on the floor, sometimes they can't even feel the stretch and they're aching to feel that stretch. So wherever you are, close your eyes and just tune into sensation and hold here for three. Two and one. Slowly bring yourself all the way back. Bring your legs in and turn to face the front of your mat. We're gonna come into a yogi squat. You can always grab blocks to put underneath your sit bones if that feels better for you. Your toes are slightly turned out and you're gonna hold it here. If you want some strength, you bring your fingers straight forward. If you want a bit of support, bring your hands to your heart. If you want a challenge, then you're going to lift up into crow pose or baby crow. I'm gonna do baby crow today. So bring your forearms down to the floor. They're parallel, they're shoulder distance apart. Your knees are gonna to come towards your armpits on the backs of your arms as much as possible. When you're learning, they'll probably be slightly to the sides and that's okay. You are going to lift your hips. Your feet can be on blocks if you need more space and then you are going to shift the weight forward until finally your toes are going to lift. Draw everything into centre, push through the floor pulling the shoulder blades away from your spine, lift through the pelvic floor, draw the belly in and breathe. Five, four, three, two and one. Everyone bring the toes together, knees mat distance apart, walk the hands forward coming onto little tippy toe hands and you're gonna melt into child's pose. As you're in your child's pose, take a huge breath through the belly and a big sigh out through the mouth, just like we did at the start. And again, big breath in 
huge sigh out. One more time, just like that, big breath in. And then huge sigh out. And then you are very slowly gonna make your way back to your downward facing dog. I'm just gonna switch sides so I can see you the whole time. And we're gonna meet here when you're ready. Remember, always the option to pause the video, take a moment, take a break, take a pause. So from here, left side, inhale, left leg lifts high to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip, reach that knee up towards the sky. Now notice, are you collapsing in your shoulders? Can you feel that dialing out sensation, that pushing into the earth? Have your ears in line with your arms and draw those ribs in. Feel how much stronger and how much more supported you feel like this. Maybe it's harder, but that's not always a bad thing, right? It's a good thing, we're working hard. Now slowly to a count of three, two, one. Your left foot steps forward, your right knee comes down, come up into this 90-90 low lunge. You're gonna hug everything in, that right glute is really working as you reach your fingers up towards the sky. Find length through the side body. Notice if your ribs wanna flare, can you draw them in and find that lovely neutral spine. Now, left hand to heart. Find a moment of gratitude as you take that side bend over towards your left hand side. It's so sunny here in England today, which is such a treat for September, but it means that I have to do everything with my eyes closed, which is making it hard. Okay, so from here, inhale brings you up. Your right hand's gonna come down, release the left hand from your heart. Lift that back knee, tucking the toes if they're not tucked already. Hug the inner thighs as you reach the left arm up. Now again, option to stay here if that's what you need. Option to step your left foot on top of your right, finding that side plank. Wrist underneath shoulder, lift through the side waist. Everything feels strong, everything feels connected. Now very slowly, everyone who's in side plank with me, step your foot to the front of the mat. Now your left hand comes down, your right hand lifts, coming into this awkward twist and thinking about how we're gonna get to warrior two as smoothly as with as much strength as possible, ground that back foot, use your core to help lift you up. Now feel strong in your legs, ground through the feet, lift through the arches. From here, right hand to heart, left arm goes overhead, we're flowing. Exhale, left hand to heart, right arm goes overhead. And again, inhale. Exhale, make sure that front knee isn't collapsing in, make sure your legs stay strong, right hip stays open, right shoulder stays open. Take a moment here, maybe take a little smile. There's research shown that when we're happy, we smile, but when we smile, it actually makes us happier. So I'm not saying it solves everything, but it's worth giving it a shot, right? So bring your left fingers down to the ground. See if with control, you can lift that back leg up, roll the right hip open, bring your right fingers towards the sky. Now find that length through your side body so you're not collapsing and you feel super lifted. From here, remember we're going skandhasana and then we come back towards the earth. So slowly, with grace, bring the right knee down, right foot down, sorry, bend into the right knee, straighten the left foot. Slowly, 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 come down to sit on your mat. Bring the right foot into your left thigh. Bring the left arm down. Exhale, brings you over. Inhale, brings you all the way up. Arm comes down, sweep the left arm over. And again, exhale, brings you down. Inhale, lifts you up. Notice, how does this side feel compared to the other one? Last time, inhale, exhale, sorry, come down and hold. Just like before, do you wanna bring your left hand to your right knee? Roll that right shoulder open and reach the fingers over. Can you imagine that someone is holding onto your side ribs? Breathe into that area, find space. And the next inhale, is gonna bring you all the way up. Remember that little challenge. Can you come onto the sole of your left foot, pick up your right knee, extend the leg, and then come all the way down. Now, where are we going to? We're here. So, again, taking hold of that imaginary spoon. These are one of my favorite things. You're gonna take that huge, big stir of your imaginary cauldron. Three times one way, inhaling forward, Exhale, brings you back. 
and then let's switch it around three times the other way. All these moves feel so good within the body. You have little moments between work, if you can, you can, you can squeeze them in. Maybe this would look a little bit weird in the office, but I'm sure people would join you, right? So from here, instead of doing the fold with our legs wide, we're gonna bring this, the soles of the feet together, take hold of them like a book. Inhale, roll the shoulders open and exhale, hinging from the hips fold. When you can go no more, you're gonna round through the back, let the head go. Now find stillness. Notice the breath in the body. What does it look like? Can you soften it? Can you slow it? Releasing fully and letting go. So hopefully this flow brought you some connected calm, but also some energy. Made you feel strong. And if you found it hard, that's okay. Yoga is really hard, particularly if you are just starting your journey. In time, it will get easier, I promise. Next inhale brings you all the way up. Bring the knees together. You are going to roll down onto your back for a count of five. Draw navel to spine, coming down piece by piece. Four, three, two, and one. Hug the knees into your chest. Bring them over to the right side. Your gaze comes over to the left. If you want to intensify the stretch, you can even extend that left leg straight if that feels right for your body. One more breath here. Inhale then, straighten the leg. Bring the knees through center, exhale. Take them over to the other side. Your gaze switches to, again, maybe extending that leg if that feels good for you. And notice here when we start to slow down, when we take a moment of pause at the end of a practice, where does your mind want to run to? What is this conversation you're having within your head right now? Can you find an anchor, whether that's your breath or the sensations in your body, to give yourself these last few moments of connection? these last few moments of presence. When you're ready, you're going to inhale up through center. Give your knees a great big squeeze, lift your chin. Give yourself a cuddle, breathe in. And exhale, find Shavasana and see if you can bring a smile to your lips again as we find the last few moments of peace. So take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, let it go. And as you let go, let go of all control of the breath now. Simply be its witness, different parts of your body move as you breathe. Each breath looks different. And I want to end with a reminder, a reminder that sometimes we don't need to be doing more. We actually need to be being more. We need to be slowing down and just taking a moment to realize where we are right here and now looking at how far we've come. And I'm going to end with a poem that many of you will have heard me read before. It's one of my favorites by a poet called Erin Hansen. She says, let me tell the tale of a girl who didn't stop, who climbed up every mountain without a pause upon the top. She danced until each blade of grass was clothed in drops of dew and the sun knew her by name, but the silver moon did too for a fear had settled in her bones, a fear of sitting still. But if you're not moving forward, it must mean you never will. So in time, her dance got slower and she'd looked at all she'd seen, but found gaps inside the places that she'd never fully been. For she was a human doing, human moving, human seeing, but she'd never taken time to simply be a human being. these last few moments you are going to bring some movement back into the body wiggling the fingers wiggling the toes and as you inhale next you're going to reach your arms over your body reach your toes away from you take a great big stretch 
And on your next inhale, hug your knees in and give them a great big squeeze. You're then gonna then roll onto your right side and take a moment, take a pause, take a breath. This is your reminder to slow down when you need to. Gently bring yourself up to a seated position. Bring your hands onto your knees, turn your palms to face up. Ending with a moment of gratitude. Gratitude that we've connected, that we've flowed together today. Gratitude for the strength in our body, the breath in our lungs. So ending together with one of those breaths together, breathe in and then let it go. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I really, really, really hope to see you on the mat again soon.